Hey everyone, Eric from TechniqueTV.com here, and today I'll be doing a review on the Logitech Illuminated Keyboard. Let's get started. Alright, this is the Logitech Illuminated Keyboard. If you're in the United States, this puppy is going to run you about 80 US dollars. It is a USB keyboard, and one thing to notice right off the bat is that the cord leading to the back of your computer is pretty short. I know that I personally have to use a USB extension cable to get it comfortably set up. Moving on, the keyboard is coated in a nice soft touch feel. What this means is you're going to get no fingerprints and a nice grip on all the keys. Next thing to notice is that this is a chiclet style keyboard. This means that the keys are going to be more close to the surface of the actual keyboard. They're not going to be big, standing up, and bulky. It's a matter of personal preference, a little bit getting used to. It's much like typing on a laptop because the keys have to be small. This is what the keyboard looks like when the two feet in the back are up. So you can, as you can see, it is very flat to the surface of your desk. Now, if I were to put these feet down, it would become even flatter. And as you can see, it's, it's thinner than my fingers. So it is a very thin keyboard. Very, very nice. This keyboard is a full-sized keyboard, along with a function key for hotkeys leading to your home. Mailbox, search engine, IM, pages, settings, calculator, eject, music, all the buttons for music in your video player. And over here we have volume control, a number pad, and this button up here controls the illumination of the keyboard, which I'll show you now. This is what the keyboard looks like in the dark. This is why you would buy this keyboard. This is why you would spend so much money on this, because, like me, I like to do a lot of my computer stuff in the dark. So it has three modes that it lights up, again showing that key in the top corner over here that I showed you earlier. It has three brightness modes and it cannot change color. Like some gaming computers will be able to change colors but this one does not. This is its brightest, then it goes to medium, then it goes to low, and then it goes off. And you could just cycle through that as much as you want. Overall, I'd say this is a great keyboard and I've enjoyed using it for the past couple of months. I found nothing wrong with it and it's been a joy to use. It still looks brand new and nothing gets stuck, stuck between the keys, no keys have been defective. And I definitely, re definitely recommend it to anybody uh, who's looking into getting it. Alright guys, this has been Eric from TechniqueTV.com. Make sure to check out our website, our channel for more videos. If you like our content, subscribe, like the video if you did, dislike it if you didn't, and uh, I'll see you next time.